Kenya has over 1.5 million Facebook users and growing every day, providing an opportunity for brands and companies to come on board, experiment and learn to create a better engagement with their current customers. Seeing the opportunity, one Aliza Kitui decided to make use of social media to sell her household crafts. Aliza's love for art began at an early age, though she decided to specialize on art fully after campus. I started painting after campus. I started with one t-shirt for a friend of mine and I loved it and I just took it up from there. From the comfort of her home, she makes her pieces, wall hangings, vases, clothing and jewelry. All unique and one thing you cannot miss in her pieces is paint. According to her, it's more profitable selling online since she covers a wider range, though it comes with its challenges. Making sure that people see what you have and, and also making sure that um, you, whatever you deliver, because there's so many people doing, um, selling stuff online, there's so many people making jewelry, but then there's that X factor that makes your product stand out. So honing that X factor and putting a lot of detailing to make your work, um, my work, unique and just getting it out there and getting people to buy. Curious to know how it works, she took us through the whole process. She made a pair of earrings which I thought were magnificent. Then using her phone, she took pictures of the pair and uploaded it online hoping that the viewers will like them and order. Um, I have a page on Facebook called Sanatu, so um, people get to view what I what I post because everything that I make I post on the page. People get to view them, and I get comments, I get messages, and from there I get to meet with a client if there's something. Because sometimes I do customizing depending on the uh, the product that the person would like to have, so. We actually meet with them. We talk about it and decide on the way forward. I do a lot of deliveries, so that's how it works. One, more of a one-on-one -on -one basis. Asked if she is looking into getting a shop in town, she was quick to say that she plans to continue doing it online. It's very convenient and you actually get a lot more people getting to see what what you have and at their own leisure they don't have to be in town roaming around looking for you it's there and a lot of people right now are on the web so it works well taking advantage of the huge number of people on social media she plans to grow herself to a household name as well as continue to nurture her passion if you love it 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 won't seem like work you'll actually enjoy it it won't just be a job it will be something you enjoy waking up in the morning and look forward to doing it and i think that's the most important thing you have to love what you do having spent some time with her one thing is clear that making money is art working is art and good business is the best art marete selvin gbs news